What happens when you send an email or buy something online? Most of what you do online requires sending data thousands of miles to other computers. These other computers, say servers for Gmail or Target.com, then send data back to you and your device. But how does the data know where to go? And can it get lost or stolen along the way? The first steps are simple. Your computer is connected to your local network, which is connected to a big internet service provider like Verizon or Comcast. But the next steps require navigating a vast web of connections all across the world. Your data could take billions of possible routes. The problem is they are not all created equally. Some move like airliners, others like Greyhound buses. Data finds its way across this web using something called the BGP protocol. Routers use BGP to decide the best way to get data to their destinations. This works great so long as the routers get reliable information. When bad information gets into the system, trouble starts. The bad information can be a mistake, like in 2008 when an ISP in Pakistan accidentally posted the equivalent of an online billboard directing all of the world's YouTube traffic to its servers, causing them to crash. YouTube was offline for hours. Or the bad information can be a lie, like in 2014 when a hacker rerouted traffic from several countries to an ISP in Canada to steal bitcoins. Sometimes it's not clear whether the bad information is a mistake or a lie. Huge flows of US military data passed through China during an 18-minute incident in 2010. Experts are still unsure whether the hijack was intentional. When internet traffic gets sent off course, intentionally or not, it's called a BGP hijack. They happen every day, and it's not clear how to stop them.